People love to know that their opinion is valued and that's why they love taking polls. And the best thing about this entire situation is that polls are so easy to create that you could literally create one over lunch, like we did. We heard that MaskCon was happening and we decided we will make a poll for the audience where they can vote for the best speaker, the best dress speaker and the funniest speaker. So just try to be as creative as you want, come up with as many categories as you like, make it interesting and the kind of poll people would want to participate in. So how do you start making a poll? You go to your Twitter trends, you, uh, then you pick, an in, uh, you pick an event that is related to your industry. So here are all the events that are trending in the US. And if you don't live in the US and you wanna make a uh, poll on a trend that's trending in your country, you can simply change the location from here and it'll show you the trends in your location. After that, you just head to your Outgrow Builder and then you click on poll here and then you click on select a template and you can choose from all these templates that we've already made. So this is the one we made over lunch. So you just click on use template and that would just open it up in your builder. And once it opens up in your builder, which I don't know why it's taking some time. Uh, let's wait for it to happen, there you go. So you can add more questions from here in this poll. You can edit page properties from here, you know, display settings, etc. You can manage lead generation from here and then you can change the layout settings from here. And if you need more help, you can always uh, contact us from here. There's also a way to like send a support email. And finally, you have to always remember to publish your poll at the end of it. It'll only work if it's published. So once you're here in the uh, uh, builder, uh, you can also just scroll up and down the canvas here and click anywhere if you want to change anything because then it'll just open up the corresponding section on the right hand side here on the editor. So for instance, if I wanted to change on page to this section, if I click on this, then it'll just open up, it, uh, open it up, open up the settings here on the right hand side and then you can change anything you want. You can even change the pictures by clicking here and uploading pictures. You can uh, change the type of uh, uh, options these are so for instance if I wanted them to be icons instead of pictures I just need to click on icons and will display icons and you can then change the kind of icons there are etc uh, you can also change the kind of questions you can have single select multi select drop down text input as much as you want and you can also add a little help text if you if you want people to know better what is supposed to be done in this question so you know try to uh, play around with it as much as you want and as you play around with it you'll also come up with more creative ideas as to what you can do so that's all and when you're finished doing it uh, when you're finished customizing everything just uh, do remember to publish it by going here go live or you can also publish it on a custom domain up to you and once it's published you can just put it on your website embed it on an email or share it on your social media anything you want so that's about it. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more marketing related updates.